Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful festive flowers beaded bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and it's a good idea to do this because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done like I made matching earrings to this bracelet and I'll link it here at the eye icon. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. I use only two colors of 11 o seed beads, you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. And here I use a clasp, lobster's claw clasp, but you could use any type you like, and a jump ring. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, and you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and here I have pliers, but they are not obligatory, only if you need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful red beads. Okay, and now guys, I have 12 on my needle, 3 times 4 and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. Okay, now I will go through some beads in this direction and when I pull my knot hides, okay. So in my next step I'm going to take five of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have five here. I'm skipping this red one and going in the following. Okay, I'm exiting out of this red, skipping this one and going through this. Okay. Then I'm going to repeat this step, take five silver beads, okay, five, and I'm skipping the next thread and going through the following. You see where I'm going, exiting out of this one, skipping this one and going through the following. Take five. Okay, five, skip the next, go through the following, okay, five, okay, skip the next, go through the following, Okay, five, skip and go through the following. Five. Okay, five. Skip the next and go through the following. You see where I'm going here. Okay, and this is my first row. 
and in my next row I will go through the following three beads exiting out of this angle here this here and I'm going to take three red beads like this and I'm going back in circle through this silver then I will go in the next silver to the center of my work I will take one red and go through this silver that is one bead just one bead under the angle and one bead away from the center then I'm going here at the angle taking three beads going back in circle through this angle here then one bead to the center like I did before Take just one red bead and go in this one here that is one bead, just one bead under the angle bead and pull one bead away from the center and one bead under the angle bead. Okay, now I'm going to take three, go back. One bead to the center one red go here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and I'm here at my last step and pay attention to go through this middle silver bead like you did before. Okay guys, now this is what I have. Now I will go through this angle bead and my goal is to go through these two red beads here and exit again at the angle then through this red one okay i'm exiting out of this red one in this direction and now what i want to do is flip my work like this okay and now i'm i will add only one bead here okay between this red and the other one that's on my way then i'm going to take one more red bead and go here through the other red that's on my way in this row now i'm here at the angle and i'm going to the center of my work taking just one red bead and going through the following that's on my way one more red And it's really easy at one bead everywhere here 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 and I will do this off camera and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row if you forgot how I did it just rewind the video and see how I'm doing the first steps of this row and repeat it until the end okay now I'm exiting here at the angle and I will do a similar thing that I did in my previous row, okay? I'm taking three silver beads and I'm going back in circle through this angle, just like that. Now I will do something differently. I will go through two beads instead of through one. And I'm exiting one bead away from this angle here and I will take one silver and I will go through these two red beads in this direction just like that now I have this now I'm exiting here at the angle 
I will take three silvers, go back through this angle here, and through the following two reds to the center of my work, exiting next to this red at the angle. Then through the next two beads, okay, then through the angle bead, three silvers, go back through the angle, two reds to the center, one silver, go through these two red beads, Okay guys, and I guess you could finish it by yourself and meet me here. Three at the angle, one here, three at the angle, one here. If you forgot how I did it, rewind it and repeat it from here. It's the same thing. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going here through the angle. And I'm going to flip my work in this direction, okay, like this. Then I'm going through these silver beads in this direction, exiting out of the angle. Through this one here. Okay. And here what I want to do is add two beads everywhere. Like I did in my previous row, but I was adding one bead everywhere. Here, I'm going to add two beads everywhere, okay? Two here, two here, going through the angle and through the following, two here, and then again two, beads here okay guys and now i'm going to continue this and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what com what's coming up next okay guys and now here i'm here where i'm adding my last two beads from this row okay my last two and now this is the first element of my bracelet and I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp to it. Okay. I will go here through three beads. And I'm going to take three red beads. Then I'm going to take my clasp. Slide those down. Three more. Okay. And I will go here in this silver and back in circle. Now I have this. Three beads, a clasp, three beads and go through these two silvers, okay? Now what I'm going to do is reinforce this part here. Okay. By going around several times through it. Okay, go as many times as you can. Then, after you're ready, you could find a place to make a knot. And I will make it here at the angle. So I'm exiting here, making here a loop, going once, going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then I go through the following seed bead. I will stick my needle in my mat and I will cut my thread. 
Okay, guys, now what I'm going to do is make a, another element like this, but I won't add a clasp on it and I won't cut my thread. And I'll be back to tell you how to connect this one to the, to the following. Okay, guys, and off camera, I did another element like this one, but without cutting my thread and making knots. And now I'm going to show you how to attach this one to this one, and this will be the second element of my bracelet. Okay, in order to do this, as I'm exiting from this angle in this direction, if you don't see my thread, here it is, I will take one red bead and I will go here through this golden, this uh, silver, sorry, at the edge. Okay, and then I will take one more red like this and I will go here in the other direction in a circle through the same silver. Okay, now you see this is what I have, a loop with two beads. And I'm going to reinforce this loop here, guys. Okay, guys, and after I reinforce, my goal is to go to the next angle. Okay, I will go here at this angle. Okay, here I am. And now I need to connect those two angles like I did here. I will take one red bead and go back through this silver, the other angle bead of my first element. Then I'm going to take one more red, just like this, and I'm going through this angle bead again. Now I have the same the same thing here, a loop between my angles with two red beads. And I'm going to reinforce this, do this once or two times, as many times as you like. And my final step at this stage is to go here between my angles and of course make a knot. Okay, I'm going here like this, making a loop, then I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from, then I'm going through the following seed bead and what I do is that I cut my thread and my first two elements are attached and I will continue making more and more elements and attaching them the same way like I did here and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have. I have here my seventh element attached and now after I attached it what I want to do is add my jump ring. But in order to do this and finish my bracelet, I want to go here at the other side of my element. Okay, here I just reinforced this part. And now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay guys, and now I'm exiting here and this is exactly one bead away from this angle here. And what I want to do next is take three red beads and I will take my jump ring and then three more red beads. Okay, this is what I have here on my needle. And I will go here 
through these beads in circle okay just like this and now i want to reinforce this part here okay and in my next step i want to make a knot and cut my thread and i'm making my knot by making here a loop going once going second time through this loop i've made pulling going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread you could repeat this knot several more times but when you're ready always go through the following seed bead and after that cut your thread never cut next to a knot okay guys and now my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my festive flower bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bd ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from